infrastructure is one of the main factors that drive our economy. And that is why road projects have been a priority of our government to reduce congestion, help improve accessibility, promote tourism, and in all, lead to the development of the economy. We present to you a priority project shortlisted among the High Standard Highways Master Plan of the Department of Public Works and Highways, Vicavite Laguna Expressway. With this project, we have four main goals. To support national development policy and provide efficient transport facilities for the eco zones in Cavite and Laguna. Reduce traffic congestion, particularly in Governor's Drive, Aguinaldo Highway, and Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road, which are heavily congested. Reduce travel time from Cavitex to Eslex by about 45 minutes. And improve the competitiveness of Region 4A Calabarzon as an investment destination. This public-private partnership project is a built transfer operate scheme and will be under a concession period of 35 years, including the period of design and construction. It is among the top public-private partnership pipeline projects of DPWH and is expected to be another success as most PPPs have been thriving endeavors that help boost our economy. This 47-kilometer highway, starting from the Kawit Cavitex exit to the Mamplazan Eslex exit, will be composed of four lanes of 3.5 meters width for each lane. It has a design speed of 100 kilometers per hour and is comprised of eight interchanges and one toll barrier, namely the Kawit Interchange, Open Canal Service Road Interchange, Governor's Drive Interchange, Silang Interchange, Silang East Interchange, Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road Interchange, Laguna Boulevard Interchange, Techno Park Interchange, Tall Barrier Interchange. This project will cater to the growing population of Cavite and Laguna and the increasing number of vehicles that are located and passed through the area. Currently, the densely population areas of Cavite that are located within about 10 kilometers of the project total to 2,674,569, which is large relative to its total population of 3,090,691. While these data show the volume of vehicles in Cavite City, 10 kilometers away from the project and Imus, 5 kilometers away from Calax, in Laguna, the densely population areas that are located within 10 kilometers of the project total to a population of 1,110,812, which is almost 50% of the total population in Laguna. And looking at the volume of the vehicles in Binyan, which is 5 kilometers away from the Calax, numbers show a large figure of transportation in the area. Going in into the Cavite Laguna Expressway, the first interchange is Kawit going into Open Canal Service Road. Located near these interchanges are the Cavite Economic Zone, Cavite Economic Zone 2, EMI Special Economic Zone, SM City Rosario IT Center, and the Island Cove Tourism Economic Zone. From the Open Canal Service Road, Next is the Governor's Drive Interchange. Located near these interchanges are the Cavite Eco Industrial Estate, the Phil Estate Industrial Park, and the SunTrust Eco Town Tanza. From the Governor's Drive, next is the Silang Interchange. Located near these interchanges are the first Cavite Industrial Estate and the Gateway Business Park. From the Silang. Next is the Silang East Interchange. Located near these interchanges are the Daichi Industrial Park, Robinson's Place Das Marinas, and the South Forbes Cyber Park. From the Silang East. Next is the Santa Rosa Tagaytay Interchange. And located near these interchanges is the Lakeside Eco Zone. From the Santa Rosa Tagaytay. 
Next is the Laguna Boulevard Interchange. And near this area is the Santa Rosa Commercial IT Park. From the Laguna Boulevard, next is the Techno Park Interchange. Located near these are the Greenfield Automotive Park, the Laguna International Industrial Park, the Laguna Techno Park, the Laguna Techno Park Annex, and Toyota Santa Rosa Laguna Special Economic Zone. And from the Techno Park Interchange, lastly, is the Tall Barrier to Eslex. Near these interchanges are the Golden Mile Business Park, People's Technology Complex, Robbins Place Santa Rosa, One Asia Business Center, Echo Centrum BPO IT Park, and the San Lorenzo Leisure and Business Park. Aside from these, a number of Echo Zones are located within Cavite and Laguna, which can be accessed better through the Calax Project. The whole project costs 35 billion pesos. With the completion of this project, our goals will definitely be achieved. Efficient transport facilities will be provided to Echo Zones in Cavite and Laguna. Traffic congestion will be reduced in Governor's Drive, Aguinaldo Highway, and Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road. Travel time from Cavitex to Eslex will be reduced by 45 minutes. And Region 4A, Calabarzon's competitiveness as an investment destination will definitely be improved. Definitely an infrastructure project worth investing on for a better future of our economy. The Cavite Laguna Expressway Project.